Dreams are what make up the best things in our lives. They fuel our passions and make us get up, run the race, and do whatever it takes to live our dreams. This is the story of a man who dreamt big and was rewarded big in return. It did not matter that the road looked hazy at times. He pressed on and made his way from being a simple boy from the province all the way to living his electric dreams of becoming one of the most sought-after electrical engineers in the country. This is the story of engineer Joel Christie Sarmiento, the RY 2010-2011 president of the Rotary Club of Cobao West. Let us all together take a peek into Engineer Joel's electric dreams and his journey to be RCCW's 26th president. Joel hails from a simple family in Kalumpit, Bulacan, who also spent some time of his childhood years in Caloocan City. Born Joel Christy Sarmiento to parents Lorna and Jimmy Sarmiento on March 1, 1967. The full-pledged Bulacanio takes pride in his down-to-earth and value-centered upbringing, mostly from his grandparents who raised him in Kalumpit, Bulacan. His parents were both government employees and worked in the Philippine National Railways until their retirement. Joel was the eldest of three siblings, and it is only sad that both his sisters passed away at a young age. As a child, one of his dreams aside from becoming an electrical engineer was to be a cadet in the Philippine Military Academy and a fighter pilot. In fact, he attempted to pursue his dream and took the PMA exam in 1984 while already studying electrical engineering at the Bulacan State University. He was denied entry at the PMA because of a dental flaw, a sign that his path to fulfill his other dreams was already written in the stars. Right after his college graduation in 1988, Joel wasted no time and took the electrical board exam. He passed the test and landed number 8 in that same year. This was to be the start of Joel's exciting life journey. The year 1989 was a turning point in Joel's life. Only 22, he married his college sweetheart, Len, in September of that year and had to grab the first job that came his way since he was going to be a father soon. Joel's first job was an electrician at William Gulango Constructions Corporation. The couple did not mind the hard times. Instead, they focused on being hard workers. Joel at the construction company and Len as a teacher. When their first child, Jeline, was born in 1990, Joel looked for a better paying job. It was then that he was hired by PCI Bank as a maintenance engineer, a move that jump-started his career as a professional in the engineering industry. In his third year as a maintenance engineer in 1993, Joel took a second board exam for licensure in electrical engineer. He became a licensed professional electrical engineer on October 12, 1993, one of the youngest in his league. After four years and seeing an even better job opportunity, Joel left his post at PCI Bank in 1994 and joined Cutler Hammer Asia Corporation in 1995. Joel became the senior sales application engineer at the multinational Cutler Hammer from 1995 to 2000. He was among the company's top performers, proposing strategies for prospective projects on both commercial and technical aspects. In 1998, however, 
some of Cutler Hammer's employees went on strike. Joel took it to mean a sign of moving forward to his next step in the race, starting up his own company. Finally, after leaving the company and testing the waters for venturing out on his own for two years, Joel put up his own company, Jomsar Trading and Engineering Services. It was in putting up Jomsar in 2001 that Joel broke out into the industry with much command, powering the circuits of many of the country's top corporations and institutions situated in large establishments and tall buildings. Among them are several SM malls, including SM Mega Mall, SM City Santa Mesa, SM Planetarium, and Mall of Asia, to name a few. Other electrical engineering projects led by Joel through Jomsar are the Santa Ana Park Grandstand in Natic Cavite, One Global Place in Taguig, and Lyceum of the Philippines, Cavite. Through this business, Joel was able to provide for his family better than ever, making it easy for his wife Len and his four children, Jolene, Gian Paolo, Asmin May, and Juliana, to look forward to everyday living residing in Kalumpit Bulacan, Joel's home. Despite being a very busy man, Joel always finds time to spend with his family, his utmost priority. He also devotes time for golf, his main sport and leisure activity that he loves to share with good friends and colleagues. More than being a businessman, Joel has also been a civic leader since 2003. His entry point into which was his membership in the Philippine JCs or JCI Malolos in 2003. It was also then that he began attending international conferences, among them in Taiwan, Turkey, India, Korea, Japan, and Singapore. In 2004, Joel joined the Rotary Club of Cubao West and in the same year was elected as Director for Vocational Orientation. One of his projects was chairing the vocational seminar at Carlos P. Garcia High School. The project earned him a major award in vocational service also in the same year. Afterwards, he was appointed as RCCW's Director for Community Service in 2005 and then as Director for New Generations in 2006. He headed the Career Orientation Project of Rotary of Cubao West in the same year and through it has earned for the chapter a Hall of Fame award. Indeed, Joel was already a major player in the RCCW by 2007 and onwards sponsoring projects, and actively participating in planning. In 2008, Joel was tapped by fellow Rotarian and RCCW President-elect Milandro Velasco to be the search chairman in the second TOFP, or the Outstanding Filipino Physicians Annual Award, a joint project of the JCI Senate Philippines and the Department of Health. Sarmiento and Velasco are both JCI Senators. But the only question with me now is do I make you, do I make you proud? In 2009, Joel was elected to be the president-elect of the Rotary Club of Cubao West. In an era that has proven fruitful for the organization, he is to assume leadership as the global president of RCCW and as the new fleet commodore of the IYFR Cubao West Fleet from Regional Commodore and IPP, June Avisilia. After 25 years of Rotary Club of Cubao West's celebrated saga, Joel assumes as the 26th president to steer the club to greater heights, home of the International Yachting Fellowship of Rotarians in the Philippines 
and other accolades synonymous to the legendary club. An exciting rotary year lies ahead for Joe, backed by RCCW's powerhouse of incoming officers and ever dynamic members. After a life of ups and downs, painted with uncertainties and challenges, Joel knows that what lies ahead of his presidency is no easy task. But it doesn't mean that his dreams for the RCCW will waver. Instead, it will only strengthen into a powerful circuit, strong enough to re-engineer the club's various programs and projects. And as one of his favorite songs goes, no matter what happens, Everyone will always be united in Engineer Joel Sarimento's electric dreams of a re-engineered, highly charged, and newly energized Rotary Club of Cobao West. <laughs> <laughs>